Hey everybody, I'm here today with a video on nut and bolt sizes explained. This will be a full tutorial for different sizes and different types of nuts and bolts. Let's get right into the video. Now, first and foremost, I got all of these different packages of nuts and bolts to explain in this video, to use for explanations in this video. So do me a favor and give this video a thumbs up, smash that like button, just to show some appreciation for the fact that I went out and got all of these for an explanation. I could have probably explained it with just one package, but I really wanted to give you an idea of how everything worked. So essentially, uh, this is just one example. I'm gonna place this back in there. So essentially, you have a few different variations of nut and bolt sizes and types, okay? So the first one that we're gonna go over is the metric designation, okay? So as you can see right here with these four packages, these ones say M8, we have M8 bolts, M8 nuts, and then we have M6 bolts and M6 nuts. Now, before I go over the sizing, you should know that this right here that spins, the short piece that spins is the nut and the long piece with the threads over here is the bolt, okay? You put them together and you have a nut and a bolt and they hold on to each other. That's the idea behind this, okay? So let's take one example of a package right here. So we, right here, we have these bolts. These say M6 1.00 times 20, okay? Actually, let's use this one over here because the, for the example that I wrote down on my notes to the side of me, I use this one. So M8 1.25 times 16, okay? So essentially, the M means it's a metric designation. So it's all measured in metric units. The eight is actually the diameter of the bolt in terms of millimeters, okay? So it's eight millimeters in diameter, the actual bolt itself. The 1.25, is the pitch of the threads, which is essentially the distance uh, between the threads. So distance from thread to thread. So the distance would be, and it's measured in millimeters. So the distance from thread to thread would be 1.25 or one and one quarter millimeters on this right here, as you can see, okay? Now, the, the smaller the distance between each thread, the more threads are gonna get, which is gonna create usually a stronger type of hold for the most part, because it's spun more times, okay? Um, you get more threading. So that's just something to keep in mind. And these are just, I'm generalizing here, but for the most part, it usually means a stronger hold. Um, and then as you can see here, 16 is the length of the bolt in millimeters. So everything's measured in millimeters and 16 would be the length of the bolt. So 16 millimeters is 1.6 six centimeters okay so that's metric units okay these are all metric and you can see we have m6 nuts and bolts and m8 nuts and bolts i got for this explanation the other version that you're going to see is imperial when you get all of these uh fractions that's when you're measuring it in imperial units which is in terms of inches so uh just for this example we'll use this one right here and another one over here so the one eighth that you see there is the diameter of the bolt in terms of inches so these bolts are one eighth of an inch, the diameter in terms of inches of the actual bolt itself. Now we're not talking about the head of the bolt, we're talking about the shaft of the bolt, just so it's clear. The diameter of these would be one eighth of an inch. The one that you see here is the length in terms of inches, okay? The length of the bolt in terms of inches. And if you see an additional number like this, so you can see we have, these are quarter inch diameter bolts, one and a half inches long, and the 20 over here that you would see is the threads per inch. So there are 20 threads for every inch on these bolts. Like I said, when you get a higher number here, you are getting more threads per inch, therefore you're likely gonna get a stronger hold. Now essentially, you should have matching nuts and bolts, right? I can't put an M8 nut on an M6 bolt. They wouldn't work because they're different sizes. So I need an M6 bolt to go with an M6 nut, as you can see right here. So you got an M6 bolt going with an M6 nut. That's what I have right here. We have an M6 bolt and an M6 nut, and they work together, okay? Now, in terms of actual bolts, they have different types of heads. You can see on these packages, it shows, for instance, these bolts have a green head, which is a green Robbie head, a green Robinson head. That's the type of screw head. Um, you need like a green Robbie screwdriver. And these ones actually have a black Robbie head over here, okay? These ones have 
a red rob yet. So they're all different. They're all, they require different screwdrivers in this sense, okay? You'll also notice that these ones have a rounded off head. You can see right there, that's a rounded off head. And these ones have a flat head with an angle right there. So they're, they're used for slightly different things. It all depends on what you need them for. But they're used for slightly different things. Even in terms of nuts, you can see this is just a regular sort of circular nut. And what we have here are wing nuts. Wing nuts are more easily designed to tighten them with your hand. You don't need uh, like a tool, like you would need a, like a socket with this one or a pair of pliers or a wrench with this one. Whereas a wing nut, you can tighten them by hand. So they come in all different sort of types and shapes and sizes. And I just wanted to explain them for you in this video, just to clear it up because you know what? I went most of my life not knowing the differences. I just thought there were nuts and bolts, they all go together and that's not the case. So I wanted to clear that up just so everyone sort of understands the differences, the different types, sizes, shapes, features of different nuts and different bolts. And that's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.